I want to focus in on some of the last things that she said about how the folks who are not actively engaged in hate need to actively stand up against hate. That's where, that, that's where critical youth work steps back into this. When those young people walk into our spaces and we're silent about what's happening, and we're just moving on to academics or whatever it is, the purpose of our program, we're just kind of moving on to that and not really thinking about how to hold space and conversation for young people that need to process all this craziness, that's when we really become complicit because they don't hear us saying, this is wrong. Don't do this, right? Let's have a conversation about what this means and how this impacts people, right? Because we're really good at making sure that we work on outcomes and metrics, like the, that's our job, right? So if academics are the outcomes or metrics, we will for sure avoid a difficult conversation to talk about GPA. Like, that's what we do. But then we become complicit because young people are coming to our programs looking for ways to unpack this stuff and to figure it out, to navigate it, to learn, right, how to be better, or just to say, like, I'm sick of this, and we're not holding space for it because we're too uncomfortable. We don't want to deal with it. See, this is not a young people problem. I'm going to go back to the definition of crazy. This is, an, a, this is a grown folk problem. This is us not being willing to do the self work, the internal work that we need to do so we can show up for these young people in the ways they need us to show up for them. Because we're afraid. We don't want to lose funding. It's not connected to our outcomes. FedEx Corporation don't like it. But we become complicit every time young people suffer from dealing with these issues, and then they come into our programs, and we ignore it. We neglect it. This is an issue. And obviously, this is most of what this session is about, is us really looking at these issues and saying, how do we equip ourselves? How do we get ready so that we can help young people Right? To deal with these things. How do we partner with them? How do we collaborate with them? How do we hold space for them? Right? So they can start to process. What's good, young brother? 